Good morning. I didn't catch your name. Uh, Charlotte. You Charlotte? So yes. you are uh, you are a tutor out at Texas Tech? No, I'm actually a teacher, and I do tutor part time. You know, in addition to what I do teaching, and okay. um, the shooter, his name he goes by Reed R E I D. That's how I knew him. And his mother contacted me on a website, a tutoring website, and asked to meet with me. And they were going to be up in town last year. He started fall last last year as a freshman. And she told me, you know, that he was very, very smart. So, so what you're telling you're telling me that he is uh, this? He's a sophomore now. Well, no, second no, year well, freshman. Well, they call him a freshman, but yeah, I don't think that he probably finished his classes um, or enough to to move up, but. Um, Anyway, I just was going to kind of tell you a little bit about my a couple of encounters I had with him. He didn't. He wasn't a very compliant two T. You know, he didn't sh- show up. I had to email him and track him down. He wouldn't respond to me, so I had to go through his mother, who was out of town. And um, he was sh- what she was concerned about was his grades coming into school because he was on a special program to get to be even allowed to stay at Tech because of his grades in high school and she just thought, you know, he was kind of, he was very, very smart and intelligent, but kind of lazy, you know? And, um, so I said, okay, well, I can see what I can do with him, but he only showed up for my sessions a couple of times and made excuses or just didn't show up at all, you know? So as far as his demeanor and his behavior, it was a little off. You know, I remember kind of commenting to people I knew about it, just strange and, he seemed friendly enough and nice enough in person, but he just didn't seem to, like he had a whole lot of motivation or anything. The, I mean, the, the fact that you're able to remember some of your interactions with him, I mean, a, a, a year later, I, I guess that, that goes to the fact that you, you, something seemed kind of off with him when you did interact with him? Yeah, I just thought it was, you know, his mother went to all this trouble to get help for him. And I don't think she just hired me. I know she has said she hired another tutor in a different subject. And um, he just, you know, he wasn't, he just didn't seem like he really cared enough. And that's what I found odd is that she was going to all this trouble and, you know, um, having to be the liaison between the two of us and to make sure he was doing it and and everything, you know. She seemed very caring and very concerned for him, even coming into school. But he just didn't seem to care at all. Right, right, and then right, which kind of paints the picture of uh, someone who was on campus but not really acting like a student at all. Right. Do you know if he had had friends, or did he did he associate with anyone? Not that I know of, and it was just the first couple of weeks of school that I I met with him. So, and I did ask him, you know, are you getting involved in some groups? And he just kind of said, yeah, 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 like that. But I don't really know. Well, other I'd be- than maybe his roommate. I didn't ever meet anyone because we just did a one-on-one session in the the dorm, like in the common area of the dorms, you know. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So I didn't, I never knew that he, I didn't know him that well enough to be able to answer that. No. D- did you have any indication that he maybe was on meds, on medication? Um, I don't know if his mother ever talked to me about that, and I didn't. He was very jittery, you know, like antsy, like couldn't sit still kind of thing, like constantly like real fidgety all the time. So whether he was on something that caused that or whether he wasn't and he needed it, I don't know. But um, I did notice that about him. You know, it's like he kind of made me nervous because he was moving around so much all the time, you know. Right. Do do you by chance remember what his declared major may have been? I don't remember what it was last year. I, he may have been undecided. I can't. I can't recall that. I know that um, he struggled with. I think the math more than anything. Um, and I wasn't even supposed to tutor him in math, but somehow I ended up having to do that. But um, even in like reading and. And some other stuff. He was in a special program where he had to pass those classes in order to be able to be considered a tech student. It was actually through the South Plains College, I think, is from what I remember, that he was. Um, once he passed that those classes, then he was then he was able to be considered a Texas Tech 
students. Yeah. Did, did, did he happen to give you or, or his mother happen to give you the impression as far as uh, you know possible family background? I mean, did, was, was he someone that you know came from came from a lot of money or just came from super involved parents or you know the mother possibly yeah. just being I think you know and out of respect for the parents I don't want to um you know say anything negative about them I think that they were very involved his mother really really tried hard with him and she they cared very much for him I met both of them uh, mom was kind of like the driver of this whole situation you know and um Whenever I first met with her and her and his father, um, I never did meet him yet. I don't know if he was on campus or he might have been busy with something else, but um, it was before classes I started or that first week or something. But um, they seem to be very active and involved in his life and, um, you know, really caring and concerned and just really wanted the best for him. She was just trying to put everything in place to help him be successful. But, you know, ultimately it was up to him.